Hello rail bands and welcome to French Ride Trains. Today we're going to be building this BTS Sky Train, which is a passenger train from Bangkok. And it's four cars long here, and this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build now. So we're going to start off with the front wheels here. So we're going to come down on the track. And we're going to put down a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Behind it on the upper hip box, a 3x4 of polished deep slate slabs. And then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to open dark oak fence gates into each of these wheels here. And into each of these wheels on this end. Then we'll come back behind it here and we're going to take out polished deep slate wall and right behind these fence gates we're going to put two rows of three polished deep slate wall behind that we're going to do two rows of three chiseled polished black stone then we're going to skip one block back from this and we're going to do a three by five of sideways observers Then we'll skip one block back from this and do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box behind it, a 3x4 of polished deep slate slabs and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and at this end here. Then we're going to come behind this and behind these fence gates we're going to skip to the third block out and do a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then open fence gates into the ends of these wheels so we should have one block of space between these two sets of fence gates. Then back here on the upper hip box a 3x4 polished deep slate slabs again and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then open fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. Then we'll go back to polish deep slate walls again. And right behind here we'll do two rows of three walls. Then we'll go to chiseled polished blackstone. Skip one block back from this and do two rows of three. Then behind this we'll skip one block back from it and we'll do a three by five of sideways observers. Then, behind that, we'll skip the block back again, and we'll do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, a 3x4 of polished deep slate slabs, and then a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and into the ends of the wheels here. Now we're going to come through with wither skeleton skulls and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of every single one of the netherite wheels here. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all of the netherite wheels on this side of the train. Then we're going to come on top of the back here with polished black stone block, put three across here three above these fence gates. Then on the middle, a polished deep slate slab right here. Then we'll come underneath it and we're gonna put two dark oak fence gates in the middle under here. Then go back to polished blackstone up here on top and we're gonna fill this whole top middle three wide with polished blackstone and bring it all the way down to the other end. On this front end come out above these fence gates and then another three blocks past where the fence gates are so it sticks out three blocks in front of it 
then come here in between these two trucks and take out these three because that's where our car divide is and in the middle put a polished deep slate slab down there and then under it we'll get three sideways fence gates under here then we're going to come back to the front end where it sticks out here and on the middle of this second layer we're going to put a polished deep slate wall then a grindstone and up here a warp slab on either side Next, we're going to come on the side of this warp slab up here. And on this outside edge, we're going to put three blue concrete, then a warp slab on the bottom, and a blue concrete. We do the same thing over here, so three blue concrete, warp slab on bottom, blue concrete. Then behind this, we're going to move on the upper hitbox up here, and we're going to do a full line of warp slabs coming back. We're going to stop and leave this middle gap open, then start on the second car, and same thing, go end to end up here with warp slabs. And then we'll do the other side, end to end up here with warp slabs. Skip this middle gap, and end to end up here with warp slabs. Right up to the front here. Now we're going to come through on the side of the truck and put two nether brick fences in the middle and open a mangrove fence gate on either side of it. And we're going to do that for all four trucks coming down the side of the train here. And then of course we're going to do it on the opposite side. So two nether brick fences in the middle, open a mangrove fence gate on either side, and we're going to do that for all four of the trucks on this side of the train. And one more corner to go here. Now come on top of the front here, put five smooth quartz across here and five black concrete above it. Then on the top middle, a column of two black concrete and on either side of it, a two by two of gray stained glass panes. Then, above this, on the top middle, we're going to do three wide of black stained glass panes right here. And then we'll swing around behind those stained glass panes and put three black concrete up here. So it looks like that. Then down here, we're going to do two smooth quartz on the bottom of either side. Then right here, we're going to do a column of two red concrete. And then behind it, two smooth quartz blocks. Same thing over here, two red concrete, two smooth quartz. Then two red concrete on the top here, two on the top here. Then we're gonna put a forward facing red nether brick stair on either side of the top like this. Then we'll swing around behind this on the bottom, on the outside edge, and we'll go to blue concrete. And we'll start right here, and we're gonna do a full line of blue concrete coming back. We'll skip this middle gap, and then same thing on the second car, a full line of blue concrete here, down to the end. Then we'll get the other side, a full line of blue concrete here. Skip this middle gap, and a full line of blue concrete here. And bring that up to the front. Just like that. Now, up in this corner, put a single smooth quartz block, then a door. Behind it, we're going to do two blue concrete, two doors. Then, behind that, four blue concrete, and two doors. Then, four blue concrete, two doors, four blue concrete, two doors, and blue concrete to the back of this car. Then, we'll come across to this side of the car. And we're just going to copy our pattern of blue concrete directly across. And then a smooth quartz in this corner. And then fill all the gaps with doors. Just like that. Then take gray stained glass. What it here, what here. Then behind the door. What here, what here. And in this gap, a black concrete on each side. Then we'll put a single black concrete in all four of these quarters. 
in all four of these corners, in all four of these corners, and in all four of these corners. Then come back through and fill all of these gaps with gray stained glass blocks for all of the windows here. Then we're going to come on top of this and switch to smooth quartz. Start right here and do a full line of smooth quartz up here to the back of this car. Then same thing on this side, a full line of smooth quartz up here. Then on this top outside edge, we're going to take red nether brick stairs facing outward and do a full line of stairs up here till you get to the front. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, a full line of outward facing red nether brick stairs up here on this side. Now we'll do the second car, so go back to blue concrete. Then we'll start up on this corner right here, do three blue concrete, two doors. Then four blue concrete, two doors. Then four blue concrete, two doors. Then four blue concrete, two doors. And then blue concrete down to the end. Then come over here and we'll just copy our pattern of blue concrete directly across from the other side. Then fill all the gaps with two doors each. Then take black concrete, one in each of these four corners, 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 and one in each of these four corners. Then come back through on both sides and fill all these gaps with gray stained glass blocks for the windows. And then we'll come on top of this with smooth quartz. Start right here. Do a full line with smooth quartz block down to the other end. And then same thing over here. A full line of smooth quartz block. And to end up here. Then on top of this, a full row of outward facing red nether brick stairs going end to end. And then same thing over here, a full row of outward facing red nether brick stairs up here on this side. Just like that. Now we need to make some banners. So we're going to come into a loom with a white banner and black dye. We're going to make the top half black, then go to red, put a horizontal on the middle, then go to blue dye and a horizontal on bottom. Then we're going to do a light gray banner in black dye and we're going to put a border on it then make the bottom half white go to red dye put a horizontal in the middle go to blue dye and a horizontal on bottom then these ones with the gray are for the headlights and that goes one here and here and then the other stripe ones go in between them like this that completes the stripe pattern on the front. Then there's a logo up here. So come back into a loom with a black banner and red dye. Do this diagonal here. Switch to blue, do the opposite diagonal. Switch to white and do a horizontal on top. And then put a black border around this. And this is for the logo on the front. And we're gonna put this right up here between the windows. Then there's like a lighted root sign up here so we're gonna come up on this top middle put a dark oak sign I can't make out what it says so I'm just gonna put some symbols in there if you know what it says you can type it hit that with orange dye and a glowing sack now we're gonna come back into a loom this time with a gray banner and black dye put a black border on it switch to blue make the bottom half blue and then a blue horizontal in the middle. Then we're going to skip this first single door 
and we're gonna come through and crouch and go down both sides of the train. Everywhere we have double doors, we're gonna put this banner on it on both sides. And then we skip the single door on the front of this side because that door is going to need a different banner here. So we're going to come back into a loom. And this time we'll be using a black banner and white die. Do this triangle, then another one with the opposite triangle. Then make the bottom half of both of these white. And then we'll come up to this door, crouch, and we're going to put this one on this door facing this way. And then we'll come over here and put the opposite one on this door facing this way. Now all our banner work's done. We're going to come in and grab stone buttons. And we're going to come through and above every set of double doors, we're going to put two stone buttons. Do that all the way down the train. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side, above every set of double doors. Put two stone buttons coming all the way down this side of the train. Now we'll come inside here and start doing the interior. On the bottom here, we're going to go three wide with cyan concrete and start bringing that all the way down. Back here, we stop at the back of this first car, skip the gap, and in the second car, same thing. We'll go three wide, end to end, with cyan concrete. Right down to the back here. Then we'll come all the way back up to the front here. And actually this window pattern is wrong, we need to swap these so the gray glass is at the back and the black concrete is at the front of each side. Then we're going to take quartz bricks right here and do a 3x3 three three to separate the cap. Then 3 down here. Then we're going to put a glow item frame on either side with an end crystal and a lever in the middle. Then we'll grab a stair for the driver's seat and also a torch. Turn around here, put a stair here, and a torch up on each side to light this. And then we'll move into the rest of the car here. We need diorite walls. We need iron trap doors, iron bars, oak stairs, and end rods. We're gonna come back where this divider is between the cars. Put three iron trap doors down here. Then, a column of three diorite on each side, and one on the top middle. Then we're going to come to this very back. Right here, we're going to put three iron trap doors. And then same thing, we're going to do a column of three diorite walls on each side. One on the top middle. Then we'll come all the way back up here. We're going to start right here, and on either side of each door, we're going to put a column of three iron bars. And we'll do the same thing on this side. On either side of each door, a column of three iron bars. And three here. Then, we'll take out oak stairs for our seats, and we're going to put two inward facing stairs in front of each window, and two here. Then do this side, two here, two here, two here, two here. And then we're gonna repeat the process in the second car. 
So on either side of each door, we'll put a column of three iron bars coming down. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, on either side of the doors, a column of three iron bars. Then take out oak stairs, two here, two here, and two in all these gaps under the windows, and then three here. And then same thing on this side. Just like that. Then on either side of the top on this third layer here, wherever there's not iron bars, we're going to come down each side putting horizontal end rods for all the lights. And keep it coming down to this other end. like that. Then we'll come up for the front car. And actually up here we're going to put three oak stairs across this wall. And we'll start up here and do the same thing. We're going to put rows of horizontal end rods on this third layer on the top of each side wherever there's not iron bars. And we'll bring that down to the other end of this car here. And just keep it coming here we get to the back of this car. Now take out deep slate brick walls, start down here, do a column of four coming up, then three on this top middle, and then come on this side and a column of four right here. Then we're going to come to the rear end, same thing, a column of four deep slate brick walls on either side of this and then three on this top middle. Then take out smooth quartz blocks, come three wide right here, and we're gonna fill this whole roof in, three wide with smooth quartz blocks, and bring it down to the other end. Just keep it coming here. Then we'll skip over this, three wide with smooth quartz right here, and fill in the whole roof of this car, three wide with smooth quartz and bring it down to the other end. Then up here above this black concrete, we're gonna grab white carpet, and we're gonna put three white carpet here, behind it a three by three of iron trapdoors. Come down to this end of the car, three white carpet right here, and then a three by three of iron trapdoors. Then same thing here, three white carpet, a three by three of trapdoors. Come down to this end, three white carpet here, and a three by three of iron trapdoors. Then come in front of these trapdoors and fill the whole rest of this roof in, three wide, with your white carpet here, and bring it down to the other end. Same thing on this car, come behind these trap doors and fill this whole roof in three wide with white carpet. Just like that. And this completes the build here for the cab control car and the single coach car behind it here. What we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build more of these. So behind what we already built, we need a second coach car here. And then on the very back, we need another cab control car, except facing the opposite direction here. So this completes our build for our BTS Skytrain. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.